let's talk about the Connect Developer Portal. And let's do so by assuming I'm a developer being asked to create a client application for a movie studio. So the first thing is I need to find out which kind of APIs are existing, what can I use from the existing data already in that movie studio. And to do so, I'm going to the developer portal. The studio already uh, granted me access, so I'm already logged in and I can see all the documentation. And the documentation is everything which can be graphical, it can be something like a, uh, a list, it can be a sequence diagram, it can be source code. So it's a general information about how to use APIs, what the concepts are within that studio. Uh, we are looking for specific APIs, so we go to the API catalog. I'm get, getting here two of them uh, already. The first one is an async API where we can use Kafka. That's not the one we are looking for. We are right now looking for here this Gorilla Movie API. So let's validate. Okay, I can list movies. I can list actors. Everything fine here. That's the one I'm looking for. So let's use this one yeah ah i can use here shell code oh there's javascript already all there let's try it out how it works oh i'm getting unauthorized what happened well we have done the first part we have done documentation so we have found the api we know how it works we want to use it the second thing is now about self-service yeah we want now not to have to pick up a phone or something like that. We want to have this on a self service. So we go back to develop portal, go to applications, and create a new application which we want call the soundtrack generator. So we go soundtrack generator. And we can choose in this case between an API key or OpenID connect with Android ID. Yeah, that whatever um, the customer provides here. We are getting an API key back. That's the one we have. Yeah, so we can start it somewhere safely. And now we are happy. So we can get back here and get to our API. We want to consume the Gorilla Movie API. And there's this use this API button. And there's our soundtrack reader. So now I want to register. But this one is protected by the API owner who wants first to have a look if I'm allowed to do so or not. So I can now um, change heads. I'm now the API owner on the admin side. So that's connect the admin interface. I'm the API owner. I'm getting here a notification. Uh, an app registration happened. And I can see that the sound generator wants to access the Google Movie API. And I can now just say yes, no, uh, no complex stuff, no technical stuff in the end, the API owner just says yes, no, and he's done. I, as the um, user, uh, the developer wants to build the application, yeah, uh, I can now start using it by going in here and we have remembered our API key. So let's put it in here. And you see, suddenly we are getting here a list of movies. So self-service is done, yeah. Everything is now working. I can now build my application. Last step, the application is working. It's rolled out. I want to know if it's working fine for the other users. So now, what about analytics? I want to monitor what is happening. And here I can get back to my application in the develop portal, my applications, the soundtrack generator, and I'm getting statistics on what has happened with this API. Uh, we can just see we just did one thing we uh, call, which was fine, and there was not too much latency involved and no errors. If you want to see a little bit more, yeah, I have also built another application, advanced, the color grading application. Uh, and if I look at this one and the analytics, that's a little bit more interesting um, because there happened a lot here in the last, uh, let's say the last six hours. Um, then you get also, oh, there are errors happening. So I can now go ahead ask the, the users what is the problem, where happened it, then can start fixing replication.